Hey guys, Rockin' at Robbo here with a uh, just a regular match between a couple of the top players in Hero Coliseum, Santana and uh, Edge. They uh, just having a, I suppose, a game to keep Santana um, sharp for the uh, Z League. He's already picked up uh, four wins, so he's looking pretty, uh, looking pretty dominant so far. Although the others got to catch up to play, so that's quite a nasty. Those are two very interesting looking decks, actually. Double Go Tanks, the swimsuit figures, and Ultra Instinct Goku. Interesting. Well, Piccolo's dead. <laughs> the good thing, I suppose, about fighting these teams that have the Piccolo, Vados, and Insert, Bardock, or Super Saiyan 4, Goku, or something like that, is that they are kind of predictable now. So they're going to basically set up in one way. And Santana predicted that and will now kill the Piccolo. Which... Is all he needs to do the first turn. I'm not sure which go tanks went down. Ah, the damage go tanks. Okay. Although I still think that go tank should be able to live even with its lower health because he gets uh, that defense boost. <laughs> Thank the RNG gods, Santana, because that. Um That nearly messed up your whole first turn. <laughs> if he hadn't have got that. That's what Edge gets for his uh, asking you shall receive philosophy, I'm, I'm guessing. Oh, he's lost Gotenks. I thought Gotenks might have been able to live that, but... Then again, he's pumped his uh, attack, all his dupes into um, attack, I think, hasn't he? So his Bardock does hit pretty hard. So basically, Santana just wants to destroy something every turn. <laughs> Videl is dead. Videl is just all kinds of dead now. But so is Vados, because she can't live both Ultra Instinct Goku and Gotenks. Okay, they both got the, what they wanted. I don't think Videl will have enough to kill Broly. I didn't see which Broly it was. If it's the. Uh... Yeah, it's the bulkier one, so she won't kill Broly. I don't think even a counter attack will kill him. Nah. That Broly is pretty bulky for what it is. Okay, Edge got the uh, a bit of luck back that turn because uh, he uh, avoided taking any master damage. But uh, Santana has lost his Videl here. This could be quite interesting. Okay, Fancy, that's wonderful. <laughs> Fancy was... Uh, he's the late... Sort of... Um, the seventh member of our uh, Z-League as it stands. I don't think I've introduced him before, so... God damn! That damage was pretty crazy. Santana's in some trouble here. Don't fall for the east yet. Oh, Santana, you have been outplayed, my friend. Edge right here showing why he is um, still number one. 
as long as you ignore all the uh, the modders and the boosters. Although don't count, I shouldn't count it yet. Yeah, bro, that Broly's dead. Cut. It all comes down to um, if Gotenks lives. Because Broly's about to just ragdoll the three of them. So, it all depends if he gets a counter to kill Gotenks. Yeah, that that's no big deal. I am quite surprised Santana went for a one across the board. Since he had Ultra Instinct Goku there, I'd have thought he'd have just gone for uh, UI Goku. Alright, can Gotenks live this? Nope. GG. GG. That was... Um, Good game, good game. And Edge played a perfect game there at the end. I wasn't uh, expecting to see that comeback. But, uh, I will now uh, transition into the next game between some great players, so uh, enjoy. Hey guys, Rock and Robbo here with the second battle, and I nearly did my intro as usual. I'm a dumbass. Uh, it's between Meticulous and Sonsantana, so it should be quite a good battle. I was waiting for him to do a match in the Z League uh, against Anthony Orson, but he didn't make a private room, so Meticulous showed up. And Santana's using a pretty scummy defense deck. And I'm seeing people using Big Bang Vegeta a lot, and I like that, because I like Big Bang Vegeta. And that was kind of obvious what um, Meticulous was going to do. He was going to go for the... Uh, the Vados to try and get rid of her. There's a few things I want to actually really do. Like, I want to do a Whis versus Vados. Like, neither side does counterattacks, and you don't put character skills on. See who would uh, be standing it by the end. That would be something I'd like to do a new series, sort of. Figures of a similar kind squaring off, so... Anyway, this should be a good uh, a good battle, and Santana's just had a message, so that's going to look wonderful on the screen. So basically, this turn, a whole lot of nothing's going to happen, because he ain't going to take much damage, and with that Trunks down, he's not going to do a lot of damage. He has got... Uh, I think he's got 10 lots of attack into that Goku, though, so the Super Saiyan 4 Goku's going to hit pretty hard. I honestly uh, wish I'd actually done that with my Goku. I put all of them into health, but I did a lot of those um, when I was a little less experienced. Because to be honest, I played Hero Coliseum when it came out, and then I took a massive break. And when I came back, I was still a complete noob at it, basically. I will show you another time my Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. And you will see exactly what I mean by how of a, much of a noob I was. Like, it's got doubles put into, some into health, some into defense. Uh, I think one into speed as well. Like, I just put it into all of them. That was terrible. And yeah, as I said, not a lot happened. There was a lot of damage taken. Ooh, okay. Okay. Well, Vados dies, but Big Bang Vegeta dies as well. But he's going to hit Piccolo for an okay amount of damage. It's Big Bang Vegeta, so... And it does lock him in place. Not that I think uh, Jeezy... Not Jeezy. Santana would have changed the positioning of Piccolo next turn. That's some pretty decent speed. <laughs> but he has got the hit and uh, a Trunks in there, so... That does uh, ramp your speed up quite a bit. Emperor Rakid, go away. You're a modder. 
It was Lariste, if you don't know that. That was Lariste. I've really got to take him off my friends list. I keep, I've taken most of the models off, but... He is the one exception, so I'll have to remove him. I just uh, can't play with models, especially the ones that do the figures. I mean, the TP medals, I, I don't particularly like them either. That's kind of scummy. But the ones that actually do the 255 sort of leveled figures, they really piss me off. So, nah. Okay, Vegeta did hit reasonably hard there. So, I suppose the Gotenks will go down next turn. <laughs> yeah, I, I desperately need... Oh, I really wish I'd put my Super Saiyan 4 Goku skills differently. So I'm not sure how much um, attack he'd have with uh, Max put into attack like I think uh, Santana's is. I'd say mine is health, so he lives longer, but he doesn't do anywhere near as much damage. Okay, the two are kind of going blow for blow at the minute, you know. There's not much in it either way. That was pretty much the only move that uh, Santana could make. Ooh, an interesting one from Meticulous. He stayed the same. Be interested to see how much damage he can uh, pull off, because he's going to hit harder than last time. His hits had a couple more boosts since then. So, this could be interesting. It's not going to be a spirit bomb, is there? No. <laughs> of course not. It's uh, I'm watching Santana. He's got the curse of me looming over him. You don't get spirit bombs if you're me, or you've got the curse of Robo on you. So, this is going to be tacked on to the match between Santana and Edge, which was a good match prior to... Sort of this one. Um, that was done a while ago now. I'm trying to think. Uh, I think it was just a warm up game. Santana wanted to play. I don't know his trunk's going to hit him for this time then. No, yeah, that's decent damage. Hit did a little bit more, obviously, because of his boosts, but not, not a lot. You know, with a counter attack, I think Santana could have it this turn. Then again, the, last time he did a lot of damage with the Goku. <laughs> you see, this is what I want. I want to get the defense version of Whis versus the defense version of Vados, and then the attack versions of both. And just, um, with no perks, not perks, no, um, no character skills, no counter attacks, no spirit bombs, nothing. Of course, that would take a. That takes quite a while, and b. It would involve somebody else taking the time to help me out. So, I have, <laughs> I have to see if I can recruit someone into doing that. Of course, with the new figures on the horizon, that may have to be put off for a little while. It's very, very close here. Which. You see, Santana can run one across the board here with no fear because I don't think, unless they double up, any of his figures will die. And UI Goku will kill Trunks here. Whis and Vados will just smack each other again and Gotenks and Super Saiyan 4 Goku will do the same. It's a very, <laughs> a very heavy defense deck that Santana's running. I do like it. Oh, the curse of the spirit bomb, the curse of Robo. If you get spirit bombed in the future, just call it being Robo'd. That that's what this should be. So I'm not sure if anybody will die still. Cause you've got Super Sinful Goku and Whis down. Which is reducing the damage quite a bit. And Trunks has had quite a few debuffs at this point. Yeah. He's got he's got pretty much nothing left in the tank at this point. Because Goku's been down every turn. I think Trunks has been down three turns now. Or is it four? Was, has he been down every turn? I think he has. So he's got no... He's hitting for nothing now. Same as Vados. Gotenks though... 
I think he might have just enough with a counter attack. Because the health version of Gotenks does have a lot of attack. Or a lot more than you'd expect. With uh, his ability. Yep, with the counter. He got the counter. <sighs> that makes things interesting. Trunks will die. I don't think Vados will die. Oh, wow. I expected Ultra Instinct Goku. I know it's the defense form, but I expected him to do more than that. I think that counter-attack has won it for Meticulous. Well, actually, the Spirit Bomb and the counter-attack has won it for Meticulous. Yeah, that's it. I can't see Santana winning this now. Not losing Super Saiyan 4 Goku like that. Yep, that's GG. Oh! Meticulous being safe. Can't, uh... Can't argue with that decision. Although, let's look at this. Hmm. There's no guarantees. Because this will make sure... I mean, Vados will die... Trunks will die, provided he doesn't kill Piccolo, which he shouldn't do. Which would mean it would be Gotenks and Hit versus a badly wounded Piccolo and Vados. Well, not Vados. Whis. To be honest, it was that counter-attack on Super Saiyan 4 Goku that killed it. Yeah, I knew that wasn't going to kill. Not with all the debuffs that Trunks has taken. He's still doing quite a bit of damage, all things considered. This has been a close game. To think it's five turns and... So sort of it's taken the fifth turn for a lot of mass death to happen, really. Because, like I say, Trunks and Vados will die. There's literally nothing that can change that. Unfortunately, this is where UI Goku drops. And uh, spells defeat. No. Yes. Two counterattacks. Two counterattacks. Has sunk Santana here. Where both of his Gokus have died because of them. Velos dies, Trunks dies, but it makes no difference whatsoever. Because Gotenks just goes down the middle next turn and kills everything. <laughs> I mean, Santana has his ultimate too, but he's too slow to take advantage of it. Wow, I think Meticulous wants to guarantee the kill on all the figures. Unless there's a massive shafting here. No, no shafting. <laughs> I think even with a massive sha shaft on uh, Meticulous, he has still won a speed tie, so... Rip Weiss. And I think Gotenks should do 1,300 damage with this quite easily. It's cool to see Gotenks win it for once. Don't tend to see uh, an ultimate from Gotenks. And this is GG. Good game. Like I say, it's Santana. What happened to him is a prime example of everything wrong with the Hero Coliseum. The Spirit Bomb hit... The counter-attack killed the Super Saiyan 4 Goku, and the next turn, the counter-attack killed the UI Goku. Ah, oh well. <laughs> it was a good game between both players, but uh, thank you all for watching. hope you enjoyed these two matches. If you have, please hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more of my Hero Coliseum videos, and don't forget to hit that bell icon so you get notifications when I upload. And I'll see you all next time.